what is going on here. Bye. My name is Gretchen and I'm the Restless Thrifter. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, and Facebook Marketplace. I have sales for eBay and Mercari tonight to pack up and get ready to ship out in the morning. I only have four. Two of them are from yesterday, maybe one. Um, but I wasn't real motivated to get it packed up last night. They didn't have to go out until t uh, tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing. I've got four okay sales. One of them is a clearance sale. It's not okay at all. The other three are pretty good. I mean, they're not like bolos, but well, one of them is. I'm out of sorts. Okay, the first one, it did sell actually one, two, two of them sold yesterday. So the first one that sold yesterday was a personal item. These silver sparkly Crocs. I wore them uh, probably four or five times and they were pre-owned. I bought them on Mercari, I think. And I had gotten them because I wasn't able to wear regular kinds of shoes for a while with all my health stuff and my joints and everything. So I couldn't wear anything other than Crocs really. I'm still kind of mostly wearing Crocs, but we went on a cruise and you know, they have those dressy nights for dinner. And I was like, well, if I'm going to wear Crocs, at least they'll be covered in glitter. These are my evening Crocs and uh, I'm probably not going to wear them again. So I sold them. They sold really fast. I'm putting my cost of goods at zero because, you know, I spent that money a couple years ago and uh, I don't remember. I could look it up, but um, I'm just putting it as zero since it's a personal item. Let me look what they sold for and get the shipping label printed. My title was Crocs Unisex Adult M8, that's men, W10 women, classic lined clogs, silver glitter sparkle. And I do like to list when they're unisex, both sizes, just in case somebody's looking for men's, you know, I don't like to assume that men aren't going to want silver glitter Crocs and, you know, women might automatically look for men's shoes if that's what they're used to wearing. So it's, um, yeah, it's better just to list both sizes. You just never know who wants what. Now, I did list them under the women's section because I can't list them in both. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Let me see. Where is the label? They changed the way you get the label on Mercari, and I'm still adjusting, I guess. This is going to New Jersey. And it's going out priority mail Mercari. Interesting. So I can use a priority mail box. I'll use a priority mail shoe box, in fact. They sold for $24 and there's no fees, so that's lovely. So basically I made $24. In reality, I think I paid like $25 plus shipping for these, so I would be losing money, but you know, this is basically me getting some money for stuff in my closet since I don't plan on wearing them again. have a few of these left. These are the USPS Priority Mail shoe box. Those boxes have like a number, but these have a the name of shoe box. And you cannot fit an actual shoe box in them. I warn you, this tape is kind of noisy. Eek. So tired today. I was gonna work late tonight, but try to catch up on stuff that I missed earlier in the week. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. All right, so those fit in there nicely. Tape it up. Hey. Let's 
teeth is getting stuck. Okay. And these sold in four days. I had them listed for $29.96 and they sent me an offer. I accepted. And so I made $24. The next one I think is my clearance sale. You know what? I got another email saying that they're cor they had to correct um, my postage and charge me more. I'm going to go back to that video and see what I did because starting to wonder what's going on. That's the second one in like a week. This is a little whoo, sleepy. This is a little onesie. Colored Organics is the name of the brand. Farm Boy, infant size, three to six months. I don't believe this had ever been worn. It was in pristine condition. Um, very cute. It's got a little graphic of a, what do you call that? A barn. <laughs> Can't think of words. Uh, and I think think so I've been having some problems with some of my eBay sales when they sell they're not delisting off of then do and the reason is because the URL is incorrect for the product and so I'm having to go in and put in the correct URL and also delist the one that's actually out there which, you know, doesn't really make sense, but that's what's happening. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say delist the eBay one. And then I will mark it as listed and put the new URL in there. This was on my 75% off clearance sale, so it was $250 plus shipping. They got a good deal. I mean, they paid like total, well, let me see what they paid total. It's like eight something, I think. Let me go look. Log into eBay, go to my all transactions under the payment tab. What is going on here? Bye. You just came to visit, I guess. Okay, so 805 is what they paid, and then this was promoted, so my fees were even higher at 215. Um, it was like an extra 77 cents for what's happening? Wait, Marcus sold 215. And now let's figure out shipping. I paid a dollar eight for this at a thrift store somewhere in Denver, most likely. I've had this a long time. I listed this October 28th of last year. doesn't seem right but yeah I guess it is I thought this was listed a lot longer than that it weighs two ounces hmm. and let's make sure I get all the dimensions correctly this last one they said I didn't have the weight correct hmm. it's probably accurate I just I don't know. I mean, I make mistakes. And I guess they're looking very closely these days. So they had to charge me like another dollar or something. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I keep yawning. This is going to Arkansas. I did make 66 cents and I got my dollar eight back. I can invest that in another better product hopefully there was a little while where i thought i was gonna try to sell um kid stuff and i would look for like organic cotton and it's just not my thing i don't enjoy looking at it that much for one thing 
and I don't know what brands to look for. And it just takes me a lot of time to look stuff up. So yeah, I'll just not do that. <laughs> I'll just not do that. Okay, those are the ones that sold yesterday. And then today I sold a sweater that I got when I was in Colorado a couple months ago, I guess now. It's Emile Lafourie. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's a very nice, very nice sweater. Um, it's made of, it's just cotton, I think, but it's so soft and just so, you could just tell the quality of it. Size large sweater, lightweight orange, made in Italy, crew neck cotton. I saw the label, like how it's tacked on like that, and I felt it, and I'm like, okay, this feels good quality. I saw the made in Italy, and that's ultimately, I was like, okay, I'm going to look this up. And it was not like the most popular brand, but it did fairly well. And I think this sold for 30 It's going to California. Actually, it's going to a studio in LA, I think. Hmm. Interesting. I want to know if my Sweater is going to be on TV. It sold for 30 plus shipping. So it sold for 37.30, I believe. Yeah. And then 536 were the fees. This was not promoted. My cost of goods was $4 and 74 cents. And now we'll figure up shipping. It's going to go on a 10 by 13 poly mailer. So I went thrifting today. I bought so much stuff. I will show you a picture of my cart. <laughs> it was very full. I found some good stuff and I needed to get out of the house and just take my mind elsewhere and thrift. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, weighing it. Weighing it. What am I doing? So it weighs 9.4. I'm going to round up to 10. And it's 526 to go out USPS at ground advantage. So I made $21.94. This sold, um, this is considered a on target sale for me because it sold for $30 plus shipping and it sold in less than 90 days. I had it, it basically sold in a month and almost wait, month and a half, we'll say. So that's cool. Yeah, I listed it in September. So I guess I didn't pick it up that long ago. I was thinking we went, it was in September that we went last. I was thinking it was like over the summer. That was a different trip. And then this last one is an Ermena, Ermena Gildo Zania cloth. And it, it's uh, custom made or bespoke. That means custom made basically. Um, sport coat. I didn't want to cut myself. And it's going out eBay, probably not priority, so I'm going to take it out of here. I've got it folded inside out just to kind of protect the wool. I will put it in a poly mailer and then I'll put that in a box, or I may just ship it in a poly mailer. Let's see. Which one do I want to do? If I use one of the thicker poly mailers, I feel okay about it, but I'd still probably want to wrap it up in a piece of paper. Um, this sold, I had it listed for $99.96. They sent me an offer of $70, and I took that. This was promoted. They paid, with shipping, $82.95. And i got to add my fees up. Ooh, $17.94. That's smarts. Let's figure out shipping. Shipping. So this one would be considered on target as well because I have only had it listed since 
October 20th. And this was made from plaid Australian wool. Um, yeah, they picked USPS ground and vintage. So what I'll do is I'll put it in one of these thicker eBay poly mailers. First, I'm going to wrap it up in a piece of packing paper. I'm going to immediately rip. This, it does it every time. This tape like folds in. It must be like kind of light, you know, thin tape, not the best quality. <laughs> if it was thicker, might not do that. And then it doesn't want to stick to Come on. Over. For peace sake. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. These eBay poly mailers uh, are nice and thick. Well, this size especially seems to be. the air out and measure it. It is 13 and a half by 13 and a half. I'm just going to do 14 by 14 because the post office seems to be uh, one pound, 10 ounces. And it costs eight sixty four for shipping. So my profit was fifty dollars and ninety six cents. It's also going to New Jersey. Sell a lot there. Okay, that's the four items. I'm gonna look up and see how much I made in these two days. Revenue was $152.30. Profit, $97.56, and that is, why does it show? Okay, there we go, four items. That is uh, not a lot, but that is what I made without fees, without shipping expenses, and without cost of goods. So I do keep in mind that whatever I spent as my cost of goods on things, and I think, I think I told you what everything was, I'm getting that money back to me as well because technically I spent it a while back and I spent it out of an account that I, where I put a certain percentage of my um, payments into an expense account and that's what I used to source with. So, you know, I'm getting that back as well. So it's not as dire as, <laughs> as it seems. Um, I mean, not that the cost of goods was all that much, but it is something at least. Give me a thumbs up, y'all. I haven't begged for a thumbs up in a while. And if you're new or you're not new and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and think about it. Just go ahead and click that little subscribe button. It's free, costs you nothing. You may see my face on your home screen um, of YouTube more often, that's all. Uh, but don't if you don't want to. <laughs> and you guys have a great day. Just keep listing.